Morecambe, Lancashire. This 10 bedroom house is home to Britain's biggest family, the Radfords. Come on, Anna, we're getting up. <laughs> 43 year old Sue and 48 year old Noel just can't stop having kids. I think having a big family is, is miles better than having a small family just because you just have lots of different characters in the house. You know, there's never a dull moment, is there, yeah. in our life? <laughs> Sue and Noel are now the proud parents to 20. We've got three under three, Hallie, Phoebe and Archie. Love that kind of age group where they're just into absolutely everything. <laughs> then we've got Oscar, Casper, Tilly. They are kind of the mischievous ones. Then there's Josh, Amy, Ellie. And then we've got, obviously, the teenagers. James, Katie, Millie, Millie and Luke. And they're just, just lazy. Typical teenagers, hard work to get up. Come on, get up. And then we've got the older ones still, and then they sort of come out of that age group into the 20-year-olds, and, and age group. they turn out nice after that. <laughs> <laughs> the noise in my house every day is like being a playground full of screaming kids. Uh, no. Yeah, you've got the swing in a minute. It really makes me wonder how mum and dad cope with it all, to be honest. Come on, we're late. Uh, I've lost my shoe. George, did you look in James's room? With 14 children still living at home, the morning routine needs to be a military operation. Max! Now! Morning times in this house are just... Mm, a bit chaotic. Come on. You better have your shoes on. We've got... Six in secondary school, four in primary school, but two different primary schools. And then we've got Hallie, who is in nursery. Can get a little bit crazy. Goodbye. Bye. After Archie was born last year, Sue and Noel swore their baby making days were finally behind them. But Sue is now five months pregnant with her 10th baby girl. We did say we wouldn't have any more. We were quite adamant that we weren't going yeah. to, but I think it hasn't planned out that well, really, has it? I think <laughs> it's cold and electric was off. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> we just, no, we, we, we weren't quite ready to quit, <laughs> were we? We just wanted another one. This time, she, she really did, like, convince me that she wasn't going to have any more. So I was just like, when she told me, I was literally like, what? <laughs> did I believe her last time? No. No, I didn't believe her last time. She obviously stopped taking a contraception. <laughs> Harry. I, I just want to know what goes through, like, mum and dad's mind when they have another one. It's like, it's, when, when can you learn to stop? Yeah, I think this is going to be the last. I know I've said that before. I think one of them peer pressures the other. <laughs> it takes two to tango. <laughs> <laughs> we must not change our minds this time. We must <laughs> separate bedrooms for about a year afterwards. Yeah. Heidi. Aubrey. I've never heard anybody called Aubrey. I tell you what, right? Why don't we compromise? Aubrey, Heidi, Radford. Mm -hmm. I think the Aubrey bit sort of spoils it. <laughs> I, I like Penelope, but it just, it just so, seems so to be Aubrey. Like Sue and Noel already have nine girls whose names all end like in an E. Kids all over the place. Sit here. But they're struggling to agree on a name for daughter right. number 10. Who likes Aubrey? Me. Oh, really? Like no, you Aubrey. don't. Put your hand down. Does anybody like Heidi? I like Heidi. Thank you, Millie. Like oh, four. Like Luke. Without a clear consensus, they put it to a family vote. Oh my God, the noise. I'll put your on, don't you worry. Tell you something, she won't want to come out to this, will she? There is, we've got three Heidi's, three Audrey's, Aubrey, a Penelope, two Polly's. It's basically, it's a draw between Heidi and Aubrey again. So we're no, we're no better. I'm really worried that I'll give birth and this baby will not have a name. I just don't think she's going to have one. Hallie, Phoebe, Phoebe. 
Sue likes to splash out on each new arrival, but shopping en masse for a new baby is not for the faint-hearted. No, darling. Shopping with so many children, it's just carnage, isn't it, really? Ow, you just hit me in the face with that. Go on. It's just madness. Right now. Chopping with kids is such hard work this. They're all coming at me from every direction. Look at this, Dad. Look at this. Can we get this? Here's another one. That's just ridiculous. No, it's not. Let me see this. Why are you walking around with kiddies' leggings? Come put them back. But ten needy children are the least of Noel's worries. That's nice. She has this thing about prams. I don't know what it is. It's every time we've had a Another new arrival, it's all, you know, let's get a pram. Do you know what, how many prams have we had? It must be at least 30. And Sue has very expensive taste. I'm after something like this. I'm hoping that I can just get to the exit without buying a pram today, and that, that'll do me. All of this, this is quite cheap, mate. All of this. It's not cheap, Katie. 985, you have to buy that extra. <laughs> Katie's just said, Look at this one, Dad. The this one's this one's cheap. <laughs> it's a thousand pounds. Come on, let's go. Feet. Note to self: Do not come shopping with lots of children and a husband that moans. Come on, your own. As far as I'm concerned, it was quite successful because we managed to come out without a pram. We don't go out. We don't drink. We don't smoke. You know, we we don't waste money, do we? No. Um, but, yeah, no. <laughs> I did want that brown. <laughs> what time are we on, Chloe? We need to get a move on. To support his ever-expanding brood, Noel runs a local pie shop, ably assisted by his daughter, Chloe. Can you think of anything that we might need? Be a hint in it, a pram. Don't, don't mention pram. With baby 21 due in just three months' time, the family finances are under more strain than ever before. There'll be 20 of us all under one roof, 20 mouths to feed every day, three times a day. So it does stretch the purse that little bit further. For every new child that Sue and Noel welcome into the world, another one is preparing to fly the nest. Need to block these out. <clears throat> Chloe has worked with her dad for the last nine years, but at the age of 23, she's thinking about moving on. I'm training to be a make artist at the moment. So uh, I do kind of want to just branch off, do my own thing, do something that I really enjoy and I'm passionate about. I would miss her a lot, I really would, because we just work so well together. You know, father and daughter team. Might not be here next year. Who knows? We'll see. I do encourage them to be independent, but it's hard because, you know, we, we live in this odd little world. You know, we're such a huge family. They don't need to go off and be independent because everything's here. Going off for a bit more. It does make it a bit harder to branch off and do our own little things, like um, like moving out. The trend in the Rasha family house to kind of leave quite late in age, just because you kind of have everything. You have siblings, you know, you got great parents, you got a great house. So you don't, you don't want to leave because it's all so good where you are. It would be weird to not be around each other all the time, so... I think, for me, that is what makes it a bit harder for me to think about moving out. Oh, look. <laughs> Sue is now over six months pregnant. Definitely feel like she's had a bit of a growth spurt. My back started to hurt a little bit at the bottom. Who's that? Oh. Sue's ah. first 16 pregnancies were problem-free, but her 17th baby, Alfie, died in the womb. It is a very anxious time, pregnancy. I don't really enjoy it as much as I did before we lost Alfie. I think when you, you lose a child, you never, you, you never ever get over that. 
Sue's pregnancies are now closely monitored with regular scans. The nerves are still there when I have a scan, but once we know that everything's all right, then you can just relax and enjoy. Oh, look, there she is. It's amazing, isn't it? It's, it really is. She's so cute. She looks good. Everything looks good. She's so cute. Yeah. So what do you think she looks like in Aubrey or a Heidi? Sue is extraordinary. She's a medical marvel, I think. I mean, there's not many people that you'll meet with so many children. Bye. But the risks are high. You know, the more babies you have and the older you are. I've been through 21 pregnancies with Sue, and I must admit, this one, uh, I've been more worried about. It. Mum has definitely been a lot more tired throughout the entire pregnancy. It does sometimes weigh on your mind, actually, you know, there's lots of things that can go wrong. Sue Radford is pregnant with her 21st child. But today, there's another reason to celebrate. How old is Millie? Well, do I look <laughs> one year old? It's Millie's 17th birthday, and her siblings are throwing a party yeah. in her honour. I think the 17th birthday is quite a big one, isn't it, really? They can learn to drive, which is a big thing for Millie. I just want to be a bit more confident in life and not rely on my mum and dad. <laughs> Millie's hoping learning to drive will be a stepping stone to eventually moving out of home. I know why you want your own place. <laughs> it's because you want boys in your room, Millie. Oh, yeah. And you're not allowed boys in your room. No, I, I am allowed boys in my room now. No, you're not. Last time I tried bringing a boy around, they wouldn't let me in my bedroom, which caused chaos. <laughs> Noel and Sue may be expert baby makers, but they don't necessarily want their kids to follow in their footsteps. So we don't let the kids have boyfriends and girlfriends in their room. It's just a rule that we've got, much to Millie's disgust with me. It was, oh, why not? I'm 16. Don't care, Millie, it's not happening. Well, Darcy, my friend's here with us as well. Doesn't matter, it's not happening. I try and avoid bringing boys around to my house. I hate boys, really. I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> I definitely think if you're up to something in this house, there's days of planning, at the, at the very least. You've got to have, like, a scheduled time out of when he's gone, when they've gone, when will they not come in. I think that's the biggest worry, is getting caught. Mum and Dad are definitely the masters of that kind of thing, because no-one ever walks in on them. When they get a bit older, like Chloe's kind of age group, then that's fine. If I have a boyfriend, they obviously know that I've got a big family, so they've you know, they put the foot in the door and they run away, but that's about it. <laughs> Casper, whose birthday is it today? It may be Millie's special day, but in a family with two parents, 20 children and four grandchildren, in some months, there's a birthday every week. October and May time are really busy months for us for birthdays. They really are. It is relentless case of birthday shopping, organising birthdays out and just, and then when you finish with one, you think, oh yeah, that's all, and then you've got to start another one, and another one, and another one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do feel like you're constantly celebrating birthdays, and I definitely do feel like I have birthday fatigue. My dad doesn't know anyone's birthdays. No one's. Luke's the 1st of October. Uh, no. James. October? Yeah. 10th? No. I don't know. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. <laughs> For her birthday, Millie's getting some quality time with her dad. In his wisdom, Noel's decided to become her driving instructor. Do you know what? I don't I don't think I look worried enough on there. 
No, I'm, I'm going to be panicking something rotten when I take you out, Millie. All I can say is I'm so glad I'm pregnant and I don't have to do it. My dad's definitely scared. He's... I'm scared. I'm worried for him. The opportunity to spend one-on-one -on -one time, it's, it is quite rare. Come on, birthday girl, you're first. I'm not sure if it's going to be father-daughter bonding or a car crash, as they say, you know, you never know. So we'll just have to see. <laughs> still in bed. It's the start of the summer holidays and Sue is enjoying a rare break from the usual morning routine. But honestly, I hear a pin drop. So quiet. Yep. Love the fact that we don't have to get up early in the morning, that there's no, where's my shoes, where's my book bag? You know, it's just a lot more chilled out. It's it's relaxed and I love it. But saying that, when they get up, it is a bit crazy. In fact, it's really crazy. During the summer holidays, it's like 10 times more hectic at this house. <laughs> it's very noisy. It's non stop. You'll wake up to kids crying, and you'll go to sleep to kids crying. All day every day for six weeks. I love it. I love it. You just count down the days for them all to go back to school, really. Got friends sleeping over pretty much every night of the week. Hi, Anna, two. Hey. Oh, do so there's big differences between my house and the Radford house. Like, you can just hear loads of crying, screaming, and then fighting, and yeah, it's just a bit of a madhouse. I'd love to have this many brothers and sisters. During the holidays, there are 14 hungry mouths to feed at home, and the Radford's food bill can top 350 pounds a week. Honestly, the amount of food that the kids can eat in the school holidays is actually ridiculous. <laughs> they basically eat us out of house and home. Can I have the cheese? Baby, can we have the cheese? They just, I don't know where they put it on. <laughs> they're, they're like locusts. Boxes of cereal go through like three boxes a day. 200 packets of crisps, 90 pints of milk, 20 odd loaves of bread, about 80 apples. Yeah, it just, oh, yogurts, just, yogurts are just as fast as you can buy them, they can eat them. Try not to think of it too much, you know, you just gloss over that bit. And just, just keep shopping. We're not rich by any means. Everything that we earn just goes mm. straight back into the family and the home. We're not on benefits, but People just presume we are. You know, I think anyone with more than five children, you, you just, all oh, right, well, we're all paying for them, aren't we? It's no. Big families are the hardest workers out there, mm. I think. So excited for your driving lesson? Yeah, I'm very excited. <sighs> the big day has arrived, and Millie's new driving instructor is ready and waiting. Oh, God, God help you know. She's never driven a car ever before. No instructors, no nothing, so I'm the first uh, victim of Millie. It could either go very good or I could either ruin my mum and dad's car. So, should you ever go? Yeah. OK, so you just need to lift your clutch up slowly until you feel it sort of bite, you know, like a starts to move, then you're off. No way. Oh, stay oh, at this dad, one. Dad. Stay at this one. Jesus, Millie. Right, <laughs> let your foot off the throttle. Let, let go before your feet. Jesus. Up to the clutch. Right. Start again. Straighten up. 
empty gearbox is going to come out. <laughs> Where is your gearbox? I think it's about 100 yards back there, to be honest. Straighten up, straighten up. After an hour of driving in circles... Throttle it a little bit, let that one go completely. Throttle it a little bit. Yeah, and get ready to straighten up. Millie finally seems to be on the right track. That's it. Excellent. Right, keep going, keep going. Right, and steer. Perfect. Doing all right, Millie. You're doing really well. Next week, we might get into second gear. Uh, you know, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with her. It's brilliant. She drove the car. She absolutely nailed it, I think. I'm happy. And we're both alive. And the car hasn't been crashed. Doesn't seem... Yeah, five minutes ago since we you know bringing Millie home from the hospital, feeding her bottles, changing her nappy, and now this, it's a huge milestone that's come along. She's 17, learning to drive. This is the start of growing up massively, being able to drive and go out and do your own things. Go. Are you excited to go on holiday? Yeah. It's time for the Radfords' big summer getaway. I started the packing about two weeks ago, because if I don't, I'm not going to get it done. At 28 weeks pregnant, Sue, Noel and the family are going on a super-sized holiday to Spain. Sunny Benny <laughs> Dome. The kids are so excited about it, so excited. The thing I'm most looking forward to is just chilling out with the kids, having a right good laugh. But with 20 kids and grandkids in tow, it's the most children they've ever taken abroad. 13, 14, 15. There's one missing. They just freak me out with these things. Panic about losing them all the time. So we've got Daniel, Casper, Amy, Josh. <laughs> I'm the only one that's ready at the minute. I'm raring to go. So the rest are a bit... Some are still asleep, some aren't dressed, some are still packing. This is the hardest bit, getting everyone ready and in the car. Get up! Get up! We're going in about 15 minutes. It's just hard work getting out the door. It really is. We're going on a holiday in 15 minutes. Maybe... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's our time to spend quality time with the kids and just de-stress, but sometimes it kind of is out the frying pan and into the fire because it is just stressful. Right, go on, let's go. It's 1 a.m. and with no minibus available, Noel and Sue are driving separate people carriers to their resort. Like right, where am I going, Katie? I don't know. Straight on. Yeah, straight on. Yeah, Alicante. Sue is meant to be following Noel, but 10 minutes in and she's nowhere to be seen. I tried my best to get out of the car park altogether, but we couldn't. At the top of the sat nav that you're following, what does it say? No, you've gone wrong. Just follow the sat-nav. Noel, however, may not be the best person to be giving directions. This is quite... What the hell? This is a walking path, not a driving path. We're in the bushes. Where the hell are we going? Honestly, I'm giving, losing the will to live. That sat-nav is crap. The capital crap. There it is. Look, it's in front of us. We're here. Holy frickin' Louia. Noel and half the kids finally arrive at their hotel, but Sue is still miles from the resort. Right, you've got to go back to your sat-nav maps. You've got to... We can't find you. Put in Magic Splash and follow it. It's 3 a.m when Sue eventually arrives. That was horrendous. Yeah, of the two of us, I, I think it is definitely Sue that gets a bit more stressed. Honestly, there better be enough apartments. I don't want to be nowhere near. Why is it my fault? Because you left us. No. No, you I left. didn't. Yes, you did. Oh, whatever. You better all stand well back <laughs> when I get stressed. Don't even speak to me. I don't want to know. All right. With 20 tired kids on their hands, it's not the start of the holiday that anybody wanted. Oh, 
Hello. Uh, just a 23 to check in, please. The Radfords are on a package holiday in Benidorm with 20 kids in tow. You've got them. That's it, they're all kids. Sue and Noel are looking forward to a relaxing break in the sun. Close your eyes. Come here. Good girl. But even leaving the hotel is easier said than done. Calm down. Right, next. If you kept still, this would be so much easier. It's hard work getting out, it really is. It's just everyone wants seen to at the same time. Mum and Dad aren't even ready yet. It'll be another quarter of an hour before we even think about leaving here. Can you just stand up and we can go? Max. There's such a lot of us, you know, wherever we turn up, we do find that we just overtake everything. And it gets a little bit embarrassing, doesn't it, at times? Definitely see people looking, counting and all that, and you're just like, right, I hope the kids behave, because you don't want to annoy the people there on holiday as well. Sometimes you do feel like you're kind of in the way of everyone, because there's such a big group. You just feel like they're constantly looking at you and, like, counting you up and... What can you do? We're on holiday. We're paid to be here. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> Definitely got the best Look at that, Josh. One. We've got the best one. Cool, eh? Keen to spend some time with the older kids, Noel's taking them on a tour of the Spanish countryside. No, you don't get that in Morecambe. <laughs> Definitely yeah. not. It's been 26 years since Noel and Sue married and took their own Jeep safari on honeymoon in the Gambia. Dad, if you would have known 26 years ago you would have had 21 kids, what would you, would you have still said I do? No couple actually think, did he right? And set out think, we're going to have 21 children. And we always thought we wanted the three. Did you fail maths? No, we never failed maths, though. We're very good at multiplying. <laughs> <laughs> when you're away on holiday and you're just sitting back watching all of your children that we've created having so much fun, just, just you, you, can, you can world, never put it, a price on that, can you? It really is priceless, just making those memories with them. Ready, go! All the children, they're getting older now, they've got jobs, they want to do their own thing, they've got their own independence, you know, and there will come a point where, you know, they won't want to come and hold you with mum and dad. Pebble, Josh! It's really nice that they're all 18, 19, in the 20s. And they want to come away And I think that just there. shows just how close we are as a family as well, that they do still want to spend time with mum and dad. Yeah. As the holiday draws to a close, it's the Radfords' last opportunity to sample some of the local cuisine. And for Britain's biggest family, dinner is 23 portions of paella. Look at that. Whoa. Look at the size of their muscles. They're very used to what they eat at home, and then when you put something different in front of them, you never know what reaction you're going to get. Casper, get it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it! Right, I'm sorry, Casper. It's gone. Now just eat it. You nearly dropped out of his seat. Maybe, maybe we should have gone for something else instead of paella after all. Sue is now four weeks away from giving birth to her 10th baby girl. I have packed the hospital bag 20 times, so i um, very used to packing a hospital bag now. Her labours can take less than an hour, so she prepares for each new arrival weeks in advance. It's going too fast. And you know when you get to that point where you start to think, hmm, remem remember what um, labour and delivery is like now, and then the nerves start to kick in. Sue's new baby will be sharing a room with three of her siblings. How did you manage that? <laughs> and with the family welcoming a new child almost every year, this 10-bedroom former care home is now bursting at the seams. The house over the years has had a hammering. It really has. You might have one or two accidents a week with a normal family. Hours that your time's in that by 10. Everything you can think of, they've, yeah. they've tried it. If you walk into any room in the house, there's probably a hole in the wall. 
I think this hole here started with Tilly. But have you noticed what's in there now? What's in it? Toys. Oh, toys in it. There used to be a hole in our room, just as you walked in, in the left, it was massive. I can't remember who did that. The house gets smashed up from TVs getting smashed. We've gone through loads of tellies, haven't we? I think TVs over the years, I think there's probably five in total. It's mostly you, you smashed two TVs. No, I am. But that's the other thing, because there's so many of them, Something can get broken and you'll have no idea who it is. Because it'll be right, I did it, but don't grass on me. Oh, I can see a few, but that's not. Go and use the other bathroom. No. Go on, you're not going in here. Take Hallie with you. Right, go on, off you go. Hallie, dog. Well, when we first moved here, we loved it, didn't we? Mm. Doing all, doing the bathroom, decorating. And now it's an absolute chore. I've got four or five little ones at the bottom of the ladders. Hands in the wallpaper paste, help, help him wanting to Cold paint and do paint. everything. So it just becomes so difficult. Mum and Dad are constantly decorating, um, trying to just make improvements on the house, and it just feels like it's a never ending project, to be honest. And there's one room that's taken more of a battering than the rest. The 60 meals a day prepped in here. Time's up by over many years we've been here. That's a lot of meals that have, have come through this kitchen. There's lots of things wrong with this kitchen. You know, there's drawer fronts that have fallen off, the cooker's not really working very well. I think we've had four dishwashers. I think that's the third fridge. Yeah. It does seem like you're, you're fighting a losing never, battle, yeah. aren't you? And it's just... We're definitely losing. Yeah. <laughs> aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we're losing the battle, but we'll win the war. <laughs> Fortunately, there's a battalion of older kids ready to assist with the household chores. So who's done all their jobs all this week? Me. Me. Have you? Me, obviously. Right, one last thing. As long as your room's tidy today, all your rubbish, pots, everything put away, you can get your pocket money. Come. Bye. And I'll be checking. <laughs> I've worked since I was 12 years old, and I've never not worked. And the pair of us, we get it across the children. If you want something, you work for it. Last night was right, that corner's Katie. In Katie, Ellie and Amy's room, some of the girls are tidier than others. You have to admit, don't, don't. My, don't, 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 my bag don't, don't, goes there and my school shoes. My side's always fine because my side has nothing on except for my clothes Nothing on my side. No, they're yours. No, mine are broke, mine are broke. Oh, wait, they're no. yours, they're yours because mine are broke. Hey, hey, listen. Mine, mine are broke, broke. I don't oh, mind. Yes, can I help you? Difference is settled. It's time to collect their wages. Katie. <laughs> no. Don't waste it on rubbish. That's my money. <laughs> yeah, no. That's my money in your hands. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. I No, you don't need any. Get out of there. <laughs> Somebody open the bag. <laughs> Along with Chloe working in the pie shop, Four of the teenage Radfords also have jobs in catering. When I was about 15-ish, Dad does it with everyone. He like make he makes them come into work with him. You've got to be independent and make your own way so you can do your own things. And he sort of like drills that into you at a young age. The older ones that are working, they do pay it board. It's not a huge amount of money, but it is something towards the family finances to help with like the food shopping and the mortgage and like little things like that. No, don't just touch it for the sake of it. Oh, put that one back. Okay. Oh my god, it's my first With the birth of baby 21 looming, Sue and Noel are still no closer to agreeing on a name for their little girl. Rosie. Rosie, yeah. See, Ruby's a nice name, and then Do you we like that name, but we're the dog, so we can't have that. Mm. But there's one stick of rock that's caught Noel's eye. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh. oh what's that? Oh, I see. Oh. Heidi. <laughs> Heidi. Yeah, so it is. Yeah. That's, that's nice. Heidi. We should get that. Yeah, we should. Yeah. But look, it doesn't have an E on the end. No, we just put one on. They're running out of time to decide. Sue is now just three weeks away from giving birth. 
I'm starting to feel a lot bigger and like there's not much more space there for her to grow. I'm definitely feeling a lot more tired. If I could just sleep all afternoon, every afternoon, I would just be asleep. You just want to just have a break, but you just can't because it's just so full on. And life at home is about to get even harder. <laughs> With another hungry mouth to feed, Noel has decided now is the best time to replace the kitchen. There we go. It's going to be a long, drawn-out job for us. When you've got 18 kids at home, or however many there is, it's going to be hard work. And there's no guarantee the work will be finished in time. Well, our kitchen is like, it's the heart of the house, really. So to not have your kitchen when you're this pregnant, it's not ideal, is it? Oh, and you've got so many kids as well, it's like, ah! New kitchen and she's got just over three weeks left. So, yeah. We're cutting it a bit fine, to be honest. We can't afford for any cock-ups. And Noel has already hit a snag. Did you not think, right, well, actually, that might be the main hot water supply? Yeah, but what I'm saying is it doesn't carry on from here. But, Noel, you've cut the hot water yeah. supply. The last few weeks of pregnancy is supposed to be, like, very chilled. And I've decided to just rip the kitchen out. And Noel's decided to cut through the hot water pipe. This is definitely not what a 35-week pregnant woman should be doing, is it, really? Honestly, I... No. After working round the clock, Sue and Noel's new kitchen is in. So, what does everybody think the baby's name is? Molly. Molly. And they finally agreed on a name for their 21st child. Holly, what do you think your baby's sister's name is? Strawberry. Strawberry. But the kids will have to keep on guessing, as today Sue is leaving for the labour ward to deliver her latest baby girl. Feeling a bit, you know. Maybe we could just, you know, postpone it for a bit. <laughs> Didn't get much sleep last night. I think I woke up like every hour. And now I can't find my notes. Nervous. No, they're not in there. They were in the drawer in the dining room. This pregnancy and this birth. I'm feeling a little bit anxious about, just because of everything that happened with Alfie. Come on. Oh. Not as if you ain't done it before. Obviously, with Mum being a bit older and having so many children, you do worry a bit more throughout the pregnancies. I think once she's finally here, we'll all just be able to relax and just breathe. <laughs> You never know how it's going to go, do you? Every labour and birth is different, so the nerves are still there. You're right! Shush! I'm just you know. right! Quiet! Meanwhile, Chloe, with her sister Sophie's help, has her hands full at home. Right, stop! If you're not going to make it nicely, we're not doing it at all. It's up to me to kind of rally them all round, get the tea sorted, get them ready for bed, get them to bed. It really depends on the kids' moods, is how hard work they're going to be. I don't worry about it all going out of control and everything, because Chloe is quite strict, you know. When Chloe shouts, you know, the kids listen more than what they do when Mum and Dad shout at them. Chloe is really mad when she gets angry, I tell you. It's quite scary. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really scary. It's too, much. too many people in this house. When they're all running around and screaming and fighting and just not doing what I'm asking them to, it drives me insane. What do you think? Should we yeah, sandwich, sandwich, it? sandwich it? Can we move back unless you want a cake on the floor? I don't think they like me very much when I babysit, but <laughs> it's what it is. <laughs> oh. It's been a long day. I don't, honestly, I just don't, I don't know how Mum and Dad do it and stay sane.
we are officially in labour and waters are now broken. There's no sign of the baby yet. We are still waiting. She, I think she's comfortable in there. After a 40-minute labour, it's the news everyone has been waiting for. Well, here she is, the newest little rabbit. She's um, about 40 minutes old. And she's gorgeous. Ooh. <laughs> Mum. I'm alright. I'm tired. Yeah. Over. Are you telling us her name when you get home? Yeah. Yes! Yeah. 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 I can't believe she's finally here. Just can't believe it. See how amazing Mum looks. It's like this woman has just given birth and she looks like she's just done nothing. It's crazy. <laughs> she's like she just looks amazing. Us. Blows my mind, does that woman? Bless her. 24 hours later, and Sue is on her way home. Oh my goodness, I bet you they're all really excited. Yeah, I need you to get all the shoes in pairs and put them neatly away in the shoe rack. Yeah. I'm just supervising. Bringing them home is one of the is one of the highlights, and you just know you just know what the reaction is going to be, don't you? Is your sister coming home? I'm going to finally get to meet my sister. It's been a long nine months. It's exciting because they're so little and they're so cute. I do love this bit, do you, when they meet their new little brother or sister for the first time? After a nine-month wait, Britain's biggest family finally gets to meet its latest member. Welcome home, Bonnie! Woo! Coming home to all of the kids, I'm like, oh, so special. You can, it never gets old, does it, that? Oh, pushing. Oh, no, I, I can't get over Phoebe's reaction. Oh, She's absolutely pissed with yeah. her. Nobody else was allowed to cuddle. <laughs> She's really cute, really cute. Bonnie was an unexpected name, but it's actually a really nice name. Meeting uh, someone new that you've waited a couple months for, quite exciting. Oh. It's really cute meeting our new baby sister. Happy birthday to you. My face is aching from smiling <laughs> so much this evening. Yeah, Just, uh, it has been really it's lovely. It's been lovely. It? It does show actually how close how we all are. Yeah. It's just such a heartwarming, amazing, special moment, mm. isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah. She's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah. She's so happy she's here. <laughs> Woo! This is it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. No, we've both said endless times, haven't we, during the pregnancy. Yeah. This is it now, no more. 21 and that's it. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. No more babies. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to the world, Bonnie. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the world. Family, Bonnie. Most people said, no, she's not going to have another one, but I was like, you will, Mum, I know you will. And she did. And she probably will again. She'll probably have another one. Oh, they're cute, aren't they? I mean, she probably says after me, no more now. And I'm number two. I think she'll stop after this one. Every year, they've said no. Every year, I've said yes. And then who's right? Me. Unless they absolutely have to stop, um, I, don't, I don't think they will stop having babies. I don't think she could imagine herself not having a newborn. Do you know, we would not swap it for anything no. in the world. You don't, you don't even look back and just think, oh, I wish we just had three or four or, you know, or even ten. Um, but no, just absolutely yeah. love, love everything about having so many kids. It's just never, never quiet, never boring, <laughs> never dull. It's just, just, it's just brilliant, brilliant isn't, it? isn't it? Yeah. Mm. <laughs>